Uh, it's funny. Now my whole timeline ain't from Bushwick no more. Like, there's not a single person from Bushwick. Nobody jacked from Bushwick no more. This is, this is your fault, guys. Hello, this is this is what y'all cause, bro. This is what y'all condone, bro. Y'all let it happen. Now all the quote unquote real niggas got something to say about not being from Bushwick. The fuck out of here, yo. Niggas be crazy out here. Bunch of dumbass weirdos, bro. I started it up, bro, because it's like now nobody from Bushwick anymore, bro. What? Y'all acting like you niggas wasn't outside, bro. Y'all acting like y'all even knew 6 9 bro. Like, this nigga was never anybody in these streets when niggas was coming up, bro. Like, like y'all all fronting if y'all sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I know 6 9 I worked at 6 9 uh, uh, Like, y'all niggas is cut, bro. Y'all just used him for the fact that he's from Bushwick, bro. And now, since he a rat, nobody want to be from Bushwick. Nobody want to be associated with him, bro. Like, now, flushing ain't a part of Bushwick, bro. Like, get, yo, y'all niggas is dumb, bro. And this is why I just associate from so many of y'all dumb niggas. Because it's like, y'all don't even know what y'all want to do. Y'all don't know what y'all want to be. Y'all yeah, don't even know what hood y'all from anymore. Not everybody from Ridgewood and East New York and all this other shit. Like, y'all cap, bro. And that's all y'all do on this shit. I just cap all day, bro. It's corny. I get why it's embarrassing for the hood because niggas don't want to jack. Niggas don't want to be associated with a rat. I get that. But it is what it is, bro. Y'all let him get to this point. Like, from an artist standpoint, and this this is Big Nova, so nah, let me throw y'all into some game. From an artist standpoint, 6 9 is a fucking genius, bro. Like, he's he got y'all feeding into this shit, bro. And that's the reason why this nigga gonna be number one again, bro. Like, don't y'all see it for what it is, bro? Like, the game is so oversaturated with all these weird old niggas. Like, real niggas don't really exist no more, bro. You can't have no street niggas in the game now, bro. Like, this shit crazy. And it's sad, bro. It's sad because this game was built off of niggas, street niggas, bro. This shit was built from the mud, bro. Now you got all the, all the niggas that fold under pressure being over-glorified, bro. But y'all fail to admit that y'all put them in this position, son. Like, come on now. Come on now, bro. Take some ownership, yeah. Hmm, hmm. Well, I mean... Bro has some interesting points. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? He has some interesting points. Um, I don't think you can blame the whole Brooklyn for six nine or whole New York or whole any any whole hood. I think you can really the only people that really can take responsibility for that is the niggas that was around him and the people that had him involved in shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like the new niggas is. I don't know if they just paid actors or whatever, but I guess they acting like they somebody from what I'm hearing through the through the grapevine. But excuse me, but yeah, man, it's like you can't you can't blame the whole Brooklyn. But I understand where bro was coming from when he like, you know what I mean? Niggas let him they let him get to this point. So like, yeah, bro, like it's really they fought. From the Treyways to whoever the fuck was around him during the period of him doing all that wild shit, which you mainly was what Treyway and pretty much Treyway, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody, no other rappers was fucking with him or written like that. He was too controversial. But I don't think niggas should just like cancel out any hood just <laughs> over this one. If that was the case, you know how many rats it is in other cities and states and countries. That's that mean that every it's probably a rat from every single planet part of the earth, even in parts of the world where niggas don't even speak English, they speak in sounds and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that like that don't make a whole country or a whole state or a whole hood, you know what I mean, kind of flaw. Um now if you want to talk about gang politics, maybe it can kind of, you know, look very bad on the set. Like like it does. It does. Um with the with the Treyway and the and the, and the Billy shit. It it looks it does look bad. That they even let that shit happen and get that nigga involved in all the shit. Cause it's like, you should have known he was gonna be a rat, bro. Like, why? that's a nigga that you keep him away from everything. He'd be like, bro, don't bring that nigga to the trap house. Don't bring him. Don't talk. Don't even, you don't even use certain words around this nigga. Don't even speak on certain shit. Don't even say certain names around this nigga. Get out the car and talk on the phone if you talking business about some other shit. You know what I mean? But instead, they chose to, 
quote unquote blood him in or whatever. He didn't even have to he had to pay himself in. Like it's called reverse, it's called friendly extortion, is what it's called. But that's just my opinion. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, they got the, I guess, bro from the woo. They saying bro from the woo. He woo crip or whatever. So we gonna see what this shit turn out to be, man. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, gang. Bye. Yeah, I smoking gas. Feel like I cute. Oh, feel like I cute. Bitch, I smoking gas. I feel like I cute. I feel like I cute. Bitch, I smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah, I feel like I cute. Bitch, I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah, I feel like I cute. I'm sipping that red solo like I cute. Yeah, yeah. I got all these bitches.